Hello everyone. I am out today at a different habitat than what I've been at before and it's a grassland. So these habitats are not very common in the area. A lot of the open area is forest or is turned into forest and this is one of the few areas that they're actually maintaining to keep as a large grassland. So I'm expecting to find a lot of grassland open habitat kind of species. I've already seen field sparrows and song sparrows and bluebirds. Um, but what I'm really hoping I'm going to find is a northern harrier. They have been spotted here in the past couple weeks, and they are really awesome, really large uh, bird of prey, and they love this kind of habitat. This is where they where they reside, and they love the open area that they can just fly low and slow over the grass and swoop up their prey. So I'm hoping we'll find one today. We'll see. like what I thought was possibly a northern harrier flying was actually a Canada goose laying on the cornfield back this way. So I'm just going to continue around the loop, keep my eyes open, see if anything happens. So I didn't find what I thought I saw was a northern harrier, but I've been sitting over here near a cornfield that's been cut, and a large flock of snow buntings just came through. And that's so awesome because I haven't actually been able to see them or be able to photograph them at all this year. So that is awesome. I'm gonna try to go over there and see if I can locate them. They went down this way on the field. So it's awesome, 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 awesome. gets even better. What I thought was snow buntings, turns out there were horned larks, which is really awesome because I have not seen these birds at all before. So this is the first time. And I found a few of them. So I'm just gonna try to creep over to them. See if I can get close to him. Trying to be really cautious going over towards them because I've never encountered these birds before, so I'm not sure how skittish they're going to be. Well, horn larks are very flighty. I was able to get close to them twice. The first time I flushed them out, mostly because I didn't know where they were. And the second time I saw where they landed and I was able to get pretty close and I was sitting there waiting for them to come over my direction and they flew without any provocation. So, um, I'm going to leave them be. I don't want to keep chasing them around the whole field. So I'm going to head over towards the edge of the grassland here. And then it kind of goes over towards a bit of an oak savanna. And I'm going to try to find a good spot to sit. There's a lot of trees that are along the edge that maybe some bluebirds or some sparrows are going to perch onto. So I'm going to try to position myself there. And maybe I can get some of those some of those birds. 
even though I'm not seeing much in the way of bird species, this habitat is just beautiful. I mean, the grass, the little blue stem, just has such a nice yellowish orangish glow to it in the sunlight. And all the little kind of dried stems from the wildflowers that flower here in the summer. And they maintain this as grassland, on this section of it at least, by using controlled burns, which is an excellent way to keep it as grassland. It helps rejuvenate, rejuvenate the soil because the, the ash goes into the soil. So there's a lot more organic material put back into the soil. So there's more nutrients that these wildflowers then kind of go crazy on. So it's an awesome habitat. It's a great spot to come in the spring and summer as well. walking down the trail and I hear a bald eagle calling. I look up and there's three circling above me, two adults and one juvenile. That's unexpected. Just like that, they're gone. They're only circling for about two minutes or so. There is a, a big lake a little ways that way, so they probably came from that direction. Fishing on the lake and the Connecticut River is also that way as well, so. Not the bird of prey I was looking for, but that's still pretty awesome. I didn't have any luck with the Northern Harrier today, but I did happen across a small flock of robins foraging on some sumac berries. I decided I was going to come back out tomorrow morning to see if I would have any better luck with the Northern Harrier then.
I'm back out today at the grassland habitat. I didn't have much luck yesterday other than a few sparrows. Um, so I'm hoping that today I might have some better luck. It's overcast right now. We actually had some sleet and ice last night. So it's a lot colder than it was yesterday. And there's little ice pellets all over the ground. So I'm hoping that pretty soon the birds might start coming out and start foraging. And we'll see what we can find. about 75 yards away from it now and it's sitting on top of a uh, little fence post I'm just gonna stay this far away from it because I don't want to spook it and that way hopefully it'll come back over this way and photograph it. down to the far side of the field. So I'm hoping that it'll come back this way. All right, it's slowly making its way back this way. It's currently pestering a large flock of grackles. Just making them fly.
over to the far end of the field down that way. It went over a hill and I don't know where it went now. And hopefully it'll come back over this direction. So I'm going to start heading over towards the direction that I last saw it. There's a good chance that it might be perched up over there somewhere. Or maybe it actually got a meal and it's just on the ground. So, I'm going to head over this way and uh, hopefully it's still around. It's the biggest grassland around. This is the perfect habitat for it, so I don't see why it would go anywhere else, but could be wrong. I was unable to relocate the Northern Harrier. I suspect it flew off over the tree line. So I decided to switch gears and do some landscape photography of this beautiful grassland habitat. I even managed to do a little bit of a time lapse of the sun rays peeking in and out of the clouds. Even though I haven't had much success finding different species here the past two days, this habitat is just beautiful. I love, love the grassland, and especially today with the really stronger winds blowing the grasses around. It's just, you can't beat it. It's a lot different than the forests that I'm used to going into. Besides today, I got to see the Northern Harrier, so awesome. After a few hours, the wind really started to pick up. I managed to find a small flock of tree sparrows that were hanging out low in the brush. But pretty soon it got so windy that they didn't even fly around. So with the increasing wind and no more birds flying around, I decided it was time to head out. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful landscape of this grassland habitat. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.